There she is. There was two of us here. Mine was the one on the right. Another driver brought the one on the left there. An empty step deck behind us now. It's a beautiful hot day down here in central Illinois. I've been saying southern Illinois this whole time. Urbana's more like in uh, central Illinois. South to me, everything is south to me. I live like at the top of the world, so. Then again, Canadians would say that that is not true. I live in southern Canada, right along the US border. So I'm actually a southerner. The more you know. But uh, anything in the US is south to me. So uh, now I gotta go to the nearest truck stop and wait. Uh, we should have, a, should have direction within a couple of hours here, but so far they're trying to find us something to get us into Ontario. There's another driver here as well, like I was saying, and he's waiting for a load too. So at least I know they aren't just singling me out and making me wait. I guess things have slowed down a little bit. Not too much though, but hopefully everything starts back up real soon so that we don't have to slow down anymore. I know you've seen my shirt back there. And my toilet paper. Was that yesterday's video or the other day? I filmed the ending in here as well. And uh, <laughs> we've been running low on toilet paper at home. So uh, I have been scouring the earth for some good butt wipe. <laughs> and we found some, so I'm bringing it home. There we go. Just one package, don't worry. Just one package, but it's ultra soft. Are you jealous? And this, Joshua, the man, the myth, the legend. I actually don't wear this shirt, it's just back here for, uh, in the background of my vlogs. Because <laughs> I thought it was funny. So, no load for us today. Uh, we combined the two days here on the way down here and we just dropped off that machine. And, Unfortunately, there's no load for us today, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. So I've been just fiddling around here on the computer, getting some vlogs edited, getting caught up with some things, hanging out with you guys a little bit. Thanks for joining us, guys. Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully we'll have a load tomorrow and we'll have something to show you. If not, I'll meet you right here in the truck. I'll see you then. So good morning, everybody. I'm here in line to get loaded up with rocks. See all those rocks over there? Those limestone rocks. I'm gonna throw them on my trailer. And I'm gonna pull them up to Ontario from here. So this is going to, uh, I think it's called Schomburg. Sounds very German, Schomburg. Schomburg, Ontario. Uh, it's just pretty much uh, north of Toronto, the greater Toronto area there. Sort of, I guess it's close to Barrie, I'm guessing, in that general area of Southern Ontario. And then from there, as soon as we're empty tomorrow, should be able to unload this tomorrow morning. And then we run down to St. Catharines to pick up some more steel that's going to the oil fields out west. I don't know if I'm taking it all the way to the oil fields because uh, with the virus going around right now, they don't want anyone who has been in the U.S. in the last 14 days on their site. They have a lot of rules and regulations. I'm just saying for that site. But I guess it's necessary. Who am I to judge? I don't know. I just bring them their stuff. So uh, I don't know if I'll bring it up to Winnipeg and then someone else will continue. Because remember to go into that site, you also have to be clean shaven, like baby face. Not just like scruff, like straight down to the skin. That's what they want. And uh, I think it'd be a crime to cut this thing off. But if they need me to, I will. But uh, I don't like breaking the law. So just saying, I'm an honest man and it would be a crime to cut this thing off my face. But for now, let's just worry about getting this rock up to Ontario, getting that steel loaded up. It's going to be oversized, 10 foot wide. And let's start moving our butts west. This load's going to be pretty heavy. Just solid rock. Look at this. Open my window here for you. See? That's all they do here. It's like a limestone quarry. I am essential. Hauling essential rocks up to Canada for some essential purpose that is unknown to me. 
but here we are living the dream. Quite a bit of rocks here. Tell you what, got a whole bunch behind me now too. Not the most clean cut either, but hey, that's what they want. That's what I'll bring them. They said they put 45,000 pounds on me, but according to my gauges, my uh, my air pressure gauges, I don't think they put 45,000 on me, but that's okay with me. Maybe they have a different version of pounds than I do. <laughs> All right, which way, which way? Karen, talk to me. You always want to talk, now's your chance. You're not gonna talk? Okay, fine, I'm going left, okay? Do you guys want to see my rocks? I'm going to show you my rocks. Here they are. Don't act like you're not impressed. That's what we're dealing with. Well, we're dragging our rocks all the way back up to Canada. Just got into Ohio here. Got another six hours to go to our destination. I'm not sure where we're gonna spend the night tonight yet. I haven't quite looked that far. Probably go to the Bradford Husky, maybe. Just north of Toronto there. I'll have to figure that out. We got a long ways to go yet, but we're doing well. As soon as we got into Ohio, the roads got a little bit bumpy. Isn't Ohio the state that's always under construction? I can't remember. Looks like this highway is relatively new. It's just that it feels like it buckled at every uh, joint in the cement. So it's like. Da, 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 I also have more weight on my trailer than I do on my truck, which makes it kick a little bit more. So I notice all those little bumps a little more than I usually would. But man, it just started raining now. So up until now, it's been a beautiful day. I don't know what Ohio's got against me, but Ohio's raining on me. But the grass is green, so I forgive you. It's been absolutely great to see how much greenery is already here in the northern Midwest of the U.S. Not quite this green up home in Manitoba in Canada yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll, we'll meet you here yet. Might be summer here by the time we get spring over there, but we'll get there. I'm just going to pull into the flying jet the pilot here in uh, Michigan, exit 15, what is this, the I-75, Michigan, I'm glad to see you're still the same old Michigan, gotta go tighten all the bolts on my truck and I've only just got here, wow, the roads have gotten worse, I didn't think that was possible, you got a bunch of construction cones out there on the freeway, I don't know what they're doing, but whew, they got, a, they got their work cut out for them, I'll tell you what, Michigan highways, wow, What's going on here? <laughs> you know, I've been driving since, over the road since what, 2011? And Michigan has always been the worst. No offense, Michigan. I mean, you probably can agree with me, right? You you guys live here, you can agree with me, right? Why? In two kilometers, turn left on East Elm Avenue. Like, why? I don't know. It's just what Michigan's known for. So I'm going to stop here and uh, grab some fuel before we head back into Canada across the bridge between Detroit and Windsor. And at the same time, I'm going to check to make sure nothing rattled loose. Make sure everything's good and tight for the rest of the ride through Michigan. Like, wow, like, I wonder how many lawsuits the state government gets from people who have 
their vehicles damaged on their highways. Like they're in such disrepair and they've been neglected so bad that I'm sure there's people who have been suing the state government for damages to their to their vehicles. I mean, I would. I would definitely go after them. I'm a, I've been doing this almost 10 years. You still haven't fixed it? Okay, that's just that's just neglect, okay? I, I, you're gonna pay all the damages. I'd probably lose because you know they're the government, but. Anyways, my rant is over. What do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? You people who live here, what do you think? Have you sued the government? <laughs> These roads are bad, man. All right, Michigan, I'm gonna cut you a little slack. Maybe I was a little too hard on you there. These roads here aren't so bad. They were only bad for the first few miles of the state, and it seems like all of these cones you guys got around here are doing something to help. And 600 meters, keep to the right on, exit 47B, bridge to Canada. So I'm not expecting too much traffic here, but I haven't crossed from uh, Detroit into Windsor in quite a while, since long before this pandemic started. So I need to turn right here. Okay, this is my exit. It always sneaks up on me. It's very confusing the way they, they built this here if you don't go through here all the time. You always got to pay close attention to all the signs, as you should be always, but I mean, they could have made it a little easier. I mean, we go in here, we do the little loop to dupe around here, and then what? Half of it's always under construction, so it changes every time I come here because I don't come here that often. into this lane here. There's a truck coming from that lane there. All right. This is what I mean. It's confusing. You got trucks coming from here, trucks coming from there, and you got this big area in here. And I don't need to stop here. I'm ready to cross. I guess I'll just follow these little lines here wherever they're going to take me. I'm assuming that the right way to go. Okay, so here, what are these signs up there? Say all trucks, right lane only. What? All trucks, right lane only on bridge. Okay, so this is where they charge me for going over the bridge. All right, there you go. You got my money. You happy? And we got to go around here. Isn't this confusing, right? Couldn't they just like build a straight road to the bridge? No? Too much to ask? They said stay in the right lane, so in the right lane we shall stay. Up and around here, so we've done a full circle now. Canada. Can you tell? It's snowing. That's how you know. They let us back in. So I have another about four hours of highway driving to go yet. There'll probably take a little more than that. 
But uh, depending on where we decide to spend the night, I, I haven't decided yet. I was just gonna get here and then figure out what to do. And now that we're here, I still don't know what to do. <laughs> That's a yellow light. I know what to do, let's stop. Ooh, ooh, testing the brakes. Oh, we're heavy. Oh. Well, we found a spot and I'm super tired, so I'm gonna keep this short. Thanks for tagging along with me today, putting up with all my whining and complaining. I still love you, Michigan and Toronto. You guys are great. We're bugging you. As long as you guys, seriously, some of your roads are pretty crazy. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'll see you in the morning, right here. Let's deliver these rocks and go get our steel. Head back west.